Hello guys and welcome to Andy of the Future, where I talk about economics and social issues that will affect us in the near future. Hello guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video. Okay? Enjoy. So uh, I've been doing some research on cryptocurrencies lately in countries that are using a lot of cryptocurrencies. And um, I actually found out that the countries that are using cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, especially Bitcoin Cash, are not developed countries like America, England, Canada. It's actually underdeveloped countries, countries that are underdeveloped, kind of like, in, you know, rising up. These are the countries that are actually using uh, cryptocurrency the most. And here I, here I am at uh, Bitcoinness, which is basically a uh, cryptocurrency news and technologies website. So um, it says uh, they actually had the top the the top five countries that use cryptocurrency the most as transactions as you know for buying things actually. Because in Bitcoin, Bitcoin is kind of like a savings account that you don't really use it to buy things. However, Bitcoin Cash, an updated version of Bitcoin, people use it to people use it for transactions. So it says when we think of cryptocurrency adoptions, we often assume South Korea, Japan, United States take the lead. Not so according to the latest results from statistics, right? So if you look at this chart here, this chart says how common are cryptocurrencies around the world? So number one is Turkey, that 20% of people use it. Uh, Brazil, again, these are all third world countries, Colombia, Argentina, South Africa, Mexico, Chile, China, Indonesia, again, third world, third world country, uh, Spain, Russia, Denmark, Australia, UK. And you see the uh, you see the, the the developed countries like Japan, you and America, the UK, Australia. It's only like eight percent, ten percent, but really at the top, Turkey, Brazil, Colombia, uh, South Africa, up in the over fifteen percent, they're using it. So it's, it's really not the developed countries. It's really the underdeveloped country. So cryptocurrency adoption is highest in Turkey, right? 20%. Uh, Brazil picks up second place. It said Brazil is hardly in, is hardly in economic stat tatters like its neighbor in the north. Uh, however, inflation did hit its highest rate in four years in April. And they're talking, they're actually talking about, um, this was 2000, 2009, 2019. Uh, it says Brazil traded a record over a hundred thousand, hundred thousand bitcoins in twenty-four hours. That's a massive, that massive two billion dollars, almost four hundred millions in U.S. dollars. Uh, well, well, it's two billion Brazilian dollars, which is five hundred million U.S. dollars, right? So while the battle for banks is an ongoing saga here, progress is being made. It's an uh, crypto adoption is equally high in Colombia. Uh, says join in second place citizens who own some amount of cryptocurrency in Colombia are 18 percent right so with a Bitcoin friendly government thank you that's yeah Bitcoin friendly government and home to well over 1 million Venezuelan refugees <laughs> we all know what's going down there in Venezuela it says many people here are using Bitcoin as a way of shielding their wealth Yet others are managing their international businesses or using or using it as an investment vehicle. Argentina and South Africa are in third place. Japan brings up a rear and South Korea doesn't appear. Now, Japan, I've been to Japan. I actually went to Japan in 2019. They're actually a cash nation. OK, Japan, they like cash, physical, physical cash. Uh, they're very traditional. However, um, it was a Japanese man that helped create crypto. Nobody really knows who created it, but it, you know the Japanese man uh, helped create it, right? Uh, Satoshi, I think it was his name. I don't know, but Japan they actually use cryptocurrency. Like uh, you know, they're open to use it. it. You know, you can go to Japan and use it. There are places that will take Bitcoin Cash, but but um, they won't. You know, not a lot of people are using it because they prefer cash. They you know they they like they like hard. They like hard, you know, businesses, you know, physical stores, things like that. Japan is not so big in digital, in digital assets, digital, um, digital businesses like in America. Uh, there's not a lot of 
uh, digital starters are starting in Japan, unless it's, unless it has to do with like gaming or something with a, with your smartphone. Um, there really aren't a lot. But anyways, all right. So, and then Thailand, which it didn't make the list, but Thailand is actually on the rise. Uh, and I, as a matter of fact, Thailand they want to attract more people to, you know, more tourists, more cryptocurrency tourists that that use crypto uh, to Thailand. And that'll help the Thailand economy because that's basically how they make most of their money, right? By, you know, tourism. And if you go to Thailand, you can buy a coffee and a lot of, you know, go to a restaurant, pay with, with Bitcoin Cash. And uh, the government is very, Thailand government is very uh, crypto friendly. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty freaking cool. So that is it for this episode of Andy of the Future. Um... These are the top countries that are using crypto. Uh, so as you can see, America is way behind. As a matter of fact, uh, the American government wants to regulate cryptocurrency, which is <laughs> which is very hard because cryptocurrency is supposed to be a decentralized, a decentralized asset, right? Unlike the uh, unlike the dollar or euro, the, gov the government is already trying to find a way to to, to control it. Uh, Bill Gates doesn't like cryptocurrency. Gee, surprise, surprise, Bill Gates. I mean, the uh, maniac is trying to, like, take over the world. He doesn't like it because he can't fucking control it. Anyways, guys, that is it for this, this video. This is Andy of the future. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to leave a comment below. And uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more future videos on economics and social issues that will affect us in the future. And remember... No, before you go.